me and my brother, uh, 17 months, I was six months of age. We were left in an abandoned building in New York that was about to be demolished. Right before that happened, one of the construction workers or demolition crews came in. They stopped the demolition because they heard me screaming. We were all the way in the basement floors downstairs and we were saved. So that in itself, I, I kind of know that life could have went another way. Once I had my child at 21, the mother left. I had to work, go to school, and try to be a fighter. I was able to graduate. I was able to have a family, a decent family. Uh, you know, my son just graduated lock high. I work six days a week from seven in the morning till seven at night. I train fighters, men and women. I was able to help a kid named Rico Ramos become a world champion. I have made it to HBO, Showtime, ESPN. It's hard work, but it can be possible. And people say, well, why now did you feel like going into boxing at your age of 40? Well, one, I was trying to show everyone, all our younger fighters, that it's nothing to be afraid of. You guys are scared to fight. It's nothing to be afraid of in that ring. If you do your necessary work outside the ring, it's fun inside. And I really do truly love to fight. I don't have a problem taking a punch. I don't have a problem hitting people. But in order to do that, I had to take my weight down at one point. At one point I was 250 pounds. And now I fight in the 150s and the 160s. My wife, she's a massage therapist and she's a cage fighter, Danielle the Executioner Mac. You know, she has to go to work, she has to work eight hours a day giving massage therapy to people. And then she has to come home, train, then come home, be a mom, you know. So all of those things together, it, it's a tough, it, it's tough. But when you wanna wake up every morning doing what you wanna do, the only way to get in that position is by sacrificing right now. Yeah, we can live in a better neighborhood, but we feel like right now we save up our money and work harder than when we leave, we leave for good. There's no coming back. Say tap. Well, my kids have been, from day one, have been, been around fighting, whether it's inside the stomach, which we start, to me, are, are hearing inside. One thing that we can never mistake, that they always understand that there's a risk. They know that I could be killed by one punch. And for my family to show them of what's possible, I'm willing to put my life on the line. See, if I show you that I can do something that some people have died at or some people can be killed at, if I can show you that I can take that risk for you, what are you willing to do for yourself? At all times, I'm trying to teach a lesson to my family, to show them that, hey, no matter where you live, no matter where you come from, you can change your situation. If you can learn how to take a punch in a ring, the punch in life is not as hard 